All right, so here we go. Let me take a look here. Well, you're coming into the month with the hanged man, you know, and you're waiting on something, Pisces. There's something that you're waiting on, some news you want to receive. You feel like maybe you're stagnating a little bit. I'm going to move this over here. Um, but you have the Knight of Swords, the Empress, and the Nine of Swords in reverse, which is good. Mm. There's something that you're feeling really kind of lost and alone with. There's something that you can't quite figure out and you're waiting for news and information to come in. I think that whatever is stemming or you've been feeling from the past that you've been sacrificial to or waiting on or whatever it is is coming through with this nine of swords, you're completing a chapter with something you're waiting for news and information. And the good thing I can tell you message received for you is the empress is here and it's, you're going to get better news than you thought. The nine of swords, some of you could be, I, I don't know. You could be having sleepless nights, migraine headaches, something with the brain, the mind, um, the thought processing, um, it could be physical limitation or it could be um, just a negative aspect coming through where you're physically feeling like something isn't right. But the Great Mother Earth here is going to bring you in abundance. Okay, she's going to, there's something resourced or some medication or some medicinal something that can help you to combat maybe these headaches or the sleepless energy or maybe the, the neurological, the nervousness. There's something that you're feeling emotionally drained with or over. So I want to bring the message through that it's going to be okay. I feel as though there are two queens here. One is the underlining en energy. And the queen of wands and the queen of cups is here. Now the queen of cups could be you. Um, but I feel like this other queen could be... A Sag, you know, it, it's definitely an air, uh, fire sign energy. She's bringing through every bit of magic she can muster to give you good advice, make you laugh, bring you in the good that's coming through. Could be information or good advice coming from her or him. Sometimes it's a general reading. It's, um, I feel it's definitely feminine energy. And she's a little psychic, you know, her little black cat is here. And there's sunflowers here too, which is happiness and sun. And could be saying, you know, something's coming through here for you, whether it's a medicine or a medicinal something, news and information, quick. Okay, let me back up. You might have received some messages in the past that wasn't good information, wasn't good, and now you're going to get better information coming through. Maybe it needed some time to unwind, and that's why the hangman is here. Um, but it's something that you feel uh, a little bit isolated and lonely with, and maybe it's something that you weren't expecting and came out of the blue type energy. You could have got news with some health issues or with a job or with something coming through or with money, something that came through that didn't come through. It fell through. And now you're kind of taking on the sadness and the, the broken heart issue, the sadness of purging it out. I, f I feel like for you for this month, you're going to hold kind of this five of cup energy, but you can certainly align with the two cups that are standing. What is coming to you? What do you have that is good and upstanding and that you can make her turn around and look at the two cups standing, not the ones that have fallen down? You know, I just got like the London Bridge is falling down and, you know, it gets rebuilt. So you're going to get ready to rebuild, restructure something that for some of you, it could have to do with money, with your comforts, what you have. Uh, maybe you're in fear of not, of losing this money, but nine of pentacles is always abundance, right? And the empress is here. So whatever has kind of fallen through, however that resonates for you. You're going to get new information. You're going to get good information, good advice coming through. 
um, people that want the best for you. And the Queen of Cups is she's, you know, again, we get, there's a little psychicness in this reading. So I, I kind of feel like there is spirit and angel sources that are coming through showing you the way. They're giving you synchronicities. They're showing you that you can rebuild and come out of this isolation. I will say one thing. If you're having any, um, I'm just going to take a sip of water real quick. If you're having any physical issues or emotional or kind of health issues that have to do with the mind or the head or medications, I, I recommend highly, like, don't try not to drink alcohol, okay? Because the five of cups can bring, bring on an an alcoholism that it's just not jiving with you for this month. I'm not saying like don't drink, but you know, if or if there's someone around you that it's, you know, I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there because that cup does come with that. And maybe you're feeling you know, down and out, but it's, I'm telling you, it's going to get so much better. You're going to find that as we come through towards the end of February, that you're going to be feeling that compassion and kindness and, and that empathy and rewards that are, um, brought to you after some hard work, some, Maybe the loss of a job or changing a job or getting news and information that there's some other opportunity that brings you more of an abundance. And you've been waiting for this. But so some of this could be coming out of the past. So, you know, the second week of February, um, astrologically, second week could be a little difficult for you because you do have the three of swords in the second week here of the month. So, you know, you could be feeling some anguish or heartache or some heaviness. Um, I feel like it can heal and it's, I feel like it's already healing you. You're already feeling the healing. It's just like you're almost wallowing in your own misery. <laughs> so, you know, if you're feeling this, so this resonates, you got to change the direction of the mindset, right? Try some positive affirmations. Again, like you got some good blessed energy here. Use it, Pisces, right? You're your own download as far as psychic ability. Um, so for those of you for job change, that's definitely here with abundance and flow. You're getting ready to make a, a leap of faith and change a plan, change a direction. For those of you with any money difficulty, I think February is going to just bring you all the rewards you need with the Three of Pentacles. As far as health, could be a little bit troubling for some of you, not all of you. Um, for some of you, if there's any, you know, pregnancy or babies, um, this could be a month for that. So get ready for that if you want to plan... Um, plan for that. Some Pisces, you could have had a hard time getting pregnant or uh, take, going to a fertility clinic or some type of medic, uh, medicine that's needed. That could come through for you for this month too, for those who are kind of looking in that direction. All right, let's take a look at your botanical card. What do we have for Pisces? Oh, we have indigo. Okay. So indigo, um, look at the, this is pretty, it's purple. So here's some amethyst for you, Pisces. Woohoo. Indigo. Indigo is really about the third eye, right? It's to open the third eye. Indigo is the color of the third eye. All right, so this is an enhancement card. This is, this card medicinally is, this is, that particular flower is not a good medicinal flower for, um, it's very toxic plant, but it's native and, um, it's mostly for this Northern hemisphere. Um, and really what it was used for was blue dye. It's a blue dye for denim and things like that. But as far as the medicinal function of it, um, don't judge yourself too hard. It's about, you know, 
don't only value one thing, right? Sometimes when you get this card, it's about judging yourself and not valuing what is really in the true you part of you, right? You might be putting yourself down when you really don't want to do that. Um, it's about shifting maybe your perspective. Your routine might be like a little bit uh, disoriented for you maybe at this time. But, you know, try changing the perspective, how you think about yourself, what you're positive, right? We want to go positive this month. It's your birthday month. You're coming into your birthday time. So um, if you're feeling like creative, any type of creativity is blocked for you, this is time to like get creative and, um, you know, it's like, we're not going to, this is a blue dye. Maybe, you know, paint something, a new color, bring in some new color to your life. You know, try a new color paint or, you know, something as simple as your setting or a new bunch of flowers. Bring in some flowers and whatnot because this is wants to enhance something in your life. So sometimes color will do that, a change of the way you're thinking or don't go negative. Don't go sad. Don't go, you know, isolated and alone. Um there are new and improved things coming through for you. And I think you're going to come out of February going, oh my gosh, I worried so much and it's it's all going to be okay type thing. Your money's safe. You are safe. There is no fear. Um, it's all good. And you have some really good friendships and people around you that are caring and emp empathetic and going to help nurture and bring you, you know, the abundances that are here. So you're not doing it alone, right? All right, let's take a look at your guidance for the month. Oh, and you receive the second, the second, the second chakra. Archangel Ariel is here for you. Second chakra is the sacral chakra, and that is your creativity zone. So there's some new alignment you're coming through with the creative zone, the, um, for some of you, it's like the sex organs and things like that. So it could be fertility for a lot of you th this month, um, but not everyone's going to have babies, but, um, it's about the creativity in the self in what it is that inspires you in that sacral chakra is a very important chakra as far as bringing in new intention, new inspiration, new creativity. Take a look at the book. Okay. The second, the second chakra vibrates in the energy of the beautiful angel Ariel. She is sending you bright orange energy to promote inspired creativity and greater comfort with, the, with intimacy. When this card appears, it's urging you to get creative. Let yourself reach out into unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may have a more creative approach. This is also a time when the energy of closeness with others and nurturing oneself can flow more freely. You can now open yourself to emotional intimacy that may be coming your way. So it's time to nurture yourself and be ready to receive the, the affection and attention and the camaraderie that resonates all the souls around you. All right, Pisces, so it looks like you're on your way into March with some good creative, inspirational alignment of within that zone. You know, it's, it's all good, all beautiful. So use this month and um, really create your own abundances with the Empress. Be inspired. You're going to get some news that's going to be good news for you for this month.